We started with 16 teams and after some upsets, thrillers and old fashioned thrashings, we're down to four. In seven editions of this tournament, we've had six different champions. So will we see a team win their second title or will it be title number one for New Zealand? It's semi-final time here at the SCG. Of India and the finals. Can the Blues find a way past the mighty three lions? India love playing down under so much Ravi Shastri. They've got a better record in Australia than the Australians actually do. But this is, of course, great stuff, Nash Pre, bringing so much colour to Star Sports right throughout this T20 World Cup. Great fun. We can't wait to head to the Adelaide Oval tomorrow. But, of course, we're here at the SCG first because it is Pakistan up against New Zealand. The Kiwis, well... ...for 50 as well for Ben Williamson. Can smile. I've got the job done. They're through to the semi-finals yet again. Last year they made it all the way to the final, but of course we know that Australia got the job done in the end. Dale Stain, what do they need to do to win? Their record against New Zealand, they upstage them more often than not. So New Zealand will be aware of that. Pakistan have won four from six at T20 World Cup, so you're spot on there, Ravi Shastri. But it hasn't been all easy. Absolute joy. They're into the semis and the team now. One team that you have to watch out for. It was quite extraordinary in a group where everyone beat everyone. It was a remarkable thing to watch over the last few weeks. But Matthew Hayden has said that. There's been some incredible moments this World Cup, no doubt about it, as Danny Morrison joins us once more. Have you got to pick, Danny? Well, I'm just... Five, but a minimum of ten overs will need to be bowled to the side batting second to get a result in the remaining three games. India trying to win their first T20 World Cup in 15 years. We're asking you who will win it this year. Make sure you get involved as Harbhajan Singh is getting involved on Cricket Live. Good on that day uh, in terms of our skills. Uh, we just need to be better than them. Abhijan Singh is still with us. Abhijan, hearing that from Rohit Sharma, you know he hasn't been in the best of form. He's only 50 coming up against the Netherlands and he had that little scare in the net. But we also saw the emotion from him in the opening game at the MCG when the anthem was sung up against Pakistan. How do you think he'll be feeling ahead of this one? Uh, well, I think uh, what we heard from Rohit that a big semi-final at the Adelaide Oval tomorrow night. It is England taking on India. But tonight, it's Pakistan. They're up against the New Zealand team. And we know... Well, Baba Azam hasn't even scored a total of 50 runs this tournament, let alone bringing up a half century. Is his best form only moments away? Ravi Shastri joins us once more here at the SCG. Ravi... Sixty-four sixes here at the SCG, the most of any ground this T20 World Cup. Somebody like a Finn Allen absolutely punished the Aussies in the opener here a few weeks ago. Ravi Shastri, who do you think? <laughs> Uh, Pakistan fans behind us will certainly be hoping Shaheen Sharafridi strikes early in New Zealand. They've had their troubles up against the left arm quicks. Do you think they're going to have some troubles tonight? Yo, he's not. Booking.com, booking. Yeah. New Zealand chose to bat first and put 152 on the board, but a live at large performance is Shaheen Shah Afridi, two for 24. He struck in that opening over Ravi Shastri and was.